Good morning, ladies, and welcome back to the channel for our lower belly and arms workout. In today's routine, I'm gonna help you tighten and tone your core, primarily targeting the lower abs, and also the armpit, back, and bra line area of your arms. For today's workout, you'll wanna have your lighter to medium set of dumbbells. I'll be using my eight and 15 pound set throughout. However, please use what's comfortable for you. And we'll also be incorporating a Pilates ball. Now, if you don't have one of these, please don't worry about it. You can use a pillow as a replacement, and what it's gonna do is increase the intensity of our abs workout today. Smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to make it to the end where I'll be announcing what our next guide is gonna be. All right, everyone, let's get started. Okay, so who is ready to feel really, really good by the end of this workout? I know I am. Now I want you to have that Pilates ball ready. You can also substitute with a pillow, so let's grab that now. We're gonna start off with eight minutes into the lower belly abs area. We're gonna use that Pilates ball. Circuit number two, we're gonna work into the shoulders, another eight minutes there, and then we're gonna work on the back and the chest area. That's our next eight minutes. And then finally, we're finishing off our workout with a combo for our abs and our arms. So starting with that Pilates ball, now with the ball or the pillow, this is gonna create an unstable surface below us, which is gonna force our abs to engage because they're gonna to have to work to balance, okay? The more firm it is, the harder it's gonna be. If you lessen some of that air out of it, it's gonna be a little bit easier. So we're gonna come down to our back. Now I want you to lift your booty up off the ground and just pop that pillow or ball right below your tailbone. We're gonna lift one leg at a time into a tabletop position. Now squeeze those abs in. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head and slowly raise the chest up. Okay, get yourself in position. You have five, four, three, two on one. We're gonna lift that chest up. If it's too much, just leave it on the ground and we're gonna tap one toe down at a time and bring it back up. It's a two count down, a two count up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna feel yourself kind of jiggling around on it. You're gonna feel that sway back and forth. That's what we want. It's gonna force the abs to work. The first two minutes, you're kind of just catching your balance, figuring out how this works. And then as we get deeper into this circuit, it's gonna start to burn even more. So just face straight ahead, tuck the chin in towards the chest, squeeze those abs super tight. Another three, another two, Another one, bring it up. Now I want you to just hold in this position. I'm gonna to try to keep you going through these exercises as we stay on that ball. If at any point you need to adjust it a little higher, a little lower, whatever is comfortable, you do that. In five seconds, we're gonna extend that leg at a 45 degree, going in three, in two, in one. We alternate that leg out and we bring it in no further than a 90 degree angle with that hip. So we're keeping those knees at that 90 degree angle, coming out and coming in, one, two, three, four. Out, two, in, two. Out, two, in, two. Can you lift your chest up a little bit higher? Just a few more here, taking it nice and slow. We're not rushing through this workout. Now try to bring that leg just a little bit further down. You're gonna feel that ball kind of wobble. That's what we're looking for. You should be starting to feel your abs engaged. Now tuck those hips under, squeeze that belly button in towards the spine. One more on the left. Bring it in, last one on the right. Bring it in, and once again, just hold right here for that rest. So this time, we're gonna keep our hands below. We're gonna drop the head down to the mat for a second. We're gonna lift up, tap the ankles. We're gonna extend it back out. Going in three, going in two, going in one. So we lift, we reach for the ankles, and we come back out extending the legs. If you need to, you can stay in that tabletop position. Again, we're just practicing with this ball today and we wanna get kind of adjusted to it. No matter what though, you're gonna feel that burn and the lower you bring your legs, the harder this is gonna be. Let's point those toes, crunch it in and extend out nice and slow, controlled movements. Exhaling as you crunch, inhaling as you come back. You have 20 more seconds, feel that burn, enjoy it. Try to take the legs a little bit lower, make it your workout. It is completely okay if you wobble off the ball today. This is all practice, it does get easier the more you do it. Three, two more, finish it for me. Two, okay. Last one everyone, and lower it down. Okay, this time we're actually gonna take our hands and place them right at our sides. I'm just gonna adjust this ball a little bit. You're gonna dig your fingertips into the mat. Now hold yourself right here. We're going to extend straight. We lower the legs and we bring the knees in and straighten back up. Let's get started. So we come up, down, two, three, four, and in. Bring it up and count down with me. Four, three, two, one. Knees in and straighten. Coming down, four, three, two, one. Knees in 
and straighten. If you want to make this harder, we're going to try to lift one arm up at a time. Oh yeah, there we go. Feel that burn. Now try to stay on that ball. It's tricky. This definitely hurts. Another three. Woo! Bring the legs up. Come down. Four, three, two, one. One more for me. And we take it down for four, three, two, one. Hands behind the head. Lift the chest. Hold here for three, for two, for one. Okay, now if you can, I want you to stay in this position here. We're gonna stay right here. We've got an eight count double leg drop. So if you want, you can have those hands at the sides or you can have them behind. Behind is a little bit trickier. We're gonna bring it up to the top. And this time we come eight, seven, six, five, four is halfway, three, two, one. We hold now out and in for eight, seven, flex the feet, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we take it back up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down again for eight, seven, six, five, core tight. Three, two, one. Flex the feet out and in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Okay, staying exactly here once again. After this, we're gonna take that ball and place it somewhere else. But for right now, I'm going to flex the feet. Now lift the chest up, have your hands at your sides. We're gonna single leg drop down and lift up. Single leg drop down and lift up alternating. Let's go, adjust that ball if you need to. Coming down and lifting that toe back up into the air. Try to straighten the legs up a little bit more and try to bring that leg down nice and low. You should be feeling it in those lower abs. This is not an easy workout. It's not super fast paced, but I know you can do it. You're strong enough. Let's go. You're stronger than you think, right? Every time it burns a little bit, we're getting a different result. We're getting stronger and we're working on our form and just our own ability, feeling good about a workout. Keep going. Five and four. Control it. Squeeze the abs to come up. Three. I think you're doing amazing if you made it this far. Two, one more. And we're gonna bring those knees in, lower your legs to the ground. Amazing, everyone. We're gonna take that ball out from below the tailbone, and this time, we're gonna place it between, right, up, right below your knees here, okay? So we're gonna take our hands, bring them into a diamond shape below the booty, and this time, we are going to straighten out. We twist, we twist, we come up, and we press the booty into the air. Coming out, twist right, twist left, bring it in and press. Great job. Out, twist, twist, in and up. Really try to squeeze your, your abs as you come up. Press towards the ceiling. Feet are flexed as you come up, lifting up higher and higher. And every time you do, controlling that movement as you come down. You can lower the head down to the mat if you prefer. You've got three more reps here. Press up, extend it out, we twist, we twist. Two more, let's finish it. Press, extend, try to come down a little bit lower if you can. Last one, I know the timer went off, but I want that last one from you, come on. Two, one, and bring it in. Okay, this time, yep, we're still going here. We've got one more, the hands are at the side. We're gonna tap down towards the mat, and we're going back into that hip lift. Now with your hands at your sides, you can press a little bit higher up and really squeeze those lower abs to bring yourself up. Now right here, I want you to squeeze that ball too with your thighs. So you're squeezing it at 50% maximum, almost like you wanna pop it, but don't actually pop it. Honestly, these are pretty hard to pop, okay? I think I've tried. We just laid on it, we sat on it, we rolled on it, <laughs> squeeze it. Work some of the inner thighs today as well. Whew. Lift up higher, another five. Another four, coming down, upper back, middle back, lower back, and tap. Three, whoo, two, you're getting the woos today. <laughs> Last one, and gently roll yourself back up to seated. Now, if you want, you can do this in kneeling, you can do this in standing. The way I have my camera positioned, I'm gonna stay down here, but we are gonna grab our weights going into our shoulder circuit. So for this, we're gonna take the palms, face them out, shoulders back and down, we lift up into that hold. Now hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Don't worry, we're not holding for 40 seconds. Come down on the left for two and up on the left for two and then alternate to the right. Down and lift. 
down two, up two, down two, up two. That's right, I want you to hold your arm up in that position. So no, you do get a break on one side for two seconds. <laughs> keep going for me, down and lift. Abs should be engaged by now, but keep squeezing those in. Chest is lifted, rib cage down, slight bend of those elbows for me. Another three and two, finish off on that other side, one, and you can bring those elbows in and lower it down. Okay, so that's just the beginning of our shoulder circuit here. It is gonna get tougher. I think you know that by now. So we're gonna take our hands, palms are facing up. This time we come up into a curl, out towards the side, and again, back into that 45 degree raise. Let's get started. Up to shoulder height, squeeze those biceps for me. Because of course, when we do our arm workouts, we're not always just working one thing. I do like to vary it up a little bit so that we get a little bit more muscle action in there. Might as well make the most out of our workout. Now lift up as you come up. We're only coming up to shoulder height, so no higher than that. Lift and slowly lower. Don't just drop it down. Now actually, the slower that you go here, the harder it's gonna be. Another five. Keep working for me. We're almost through this one. Four. And three. Stay strong. Pick up heavier weights if you want. You know I'm a definitely an encourager of that. <laughs> Two. And one more. Lift it up and slowly lower. Okay. Next up, we've got front raises. Now we're gonna do some unilateral work. So you can put one of those weights off to the side. Come back up for me. Choose your weaker side to start. The torso stays up straight. We turn the palm out. We come up to the front, pulse, and slowly lower. Follow along with me. We come up, pulse, and three, two, one to lower. Shoulder stays down. Up, pulse, three, two, one to lower. Now, if you've never worked out with me before and you're not sure what I mean when I say shoulders back and down, if you see yourself doing this, roll it back, roll it down. And you wanna really control that, because it's not great for your joints, it's not good form, it's not even gonna work the right muscles. So come up, pulse, and three, two, one, come down. Three more, you're almost there. Keep going with that arm. If you need to put the weight down, do that, but keep moving. Last one up, pump and three, two, one, down. Okay, so you have a moment. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. I can feel my mouth getting kinda dry. So we're gonna pick up that other side. And we're gonna do that front raise. Going in four, going in three, in two, in one. Squeeze the glutes, tuck those hips under. We come up, we pump, and three, two, one, down. So like I said, this is a slower workout. It doesn't always mean it's easier, right? Sometimes when we're just moving really quickly, it's a little bit easier to get through those exercises because your adrenaline's pumping, you may not feel that burn as much, but when we control it, man, do you feel those muscles working? And I've seen some of your pictures recently. Girls, ladies, women, you are straight muscle. It is so impressive. Up, pump, and three, two, one, down. Now with the next guide you're gonna get, you get sort of a break with this one, but after that, we know summer's coming, right? So we're gonna have to up it up a, li a little bit more. You just wait. The next two series, you're gonna love. Last one up and lower down. Okay, you got some extra credit there. Our next exercise, we're going into a hammer press, but we're doing a milk jug first. So with your right arm, form a 90 degree angle, elbow tucks in, other hand bring that up for me. We come out towards the side, in towards the waist, up and press with that palm facing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job, just keep that other arm in a 90 degree angle. I want you to hold tension on that weight. Because if we're working one arm, well, we are focusing on the strength in this arm here. However, the arm that we have in that held position, we wanna just have some tension on it. Get the most out of this workout. Don't put that weight down. Don't cheat yourself on results. You came here, doesn't make sense to cheat yourself. Keep going, three. And two, only coming up to shoulder height. Last one, now hold to the side, pump for five, four, yes it burns, three, two, one, bring it in for me. We are almost through this circuit, everybody. We've got three more exercises going over to the other side. You've got 10 seconds. Once again, let's roll the shoulders back and down, reset yourself, have that moment going in four, in three, in two, in one. We come out towards the side, bring it in, up towards the shoulder, and press, yes. I am feeling this workout. I really like the arm exercises in this one, actually. These are a lot of the ones that I'll do on my own. 
Um, you know, there's just certain ones I'm not a huge fan of. These I do like, they feel controlled. I feel the muscles working. I feel the shoulders burning. Yes, it does. And I've been playing a lot of that Oculus Quest 2 with the Beat Saber, so <laughs> yeah, my arms are already jelly. Out towards the side, bring it in and press it up for five, four, three, two. Give me one more press and then we're going into that hold. Bring it out to the side, pump. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower it down. Amazing, everyone. Okay, going into our Arnold presses. For this one, the palms come in, we turn them out and into a press. Personally, I can use heavier weights here, so I'm gonna grab mine and I'm gonna be at a slower pace. If you have lighter weights, you can go slower, only use what you're comfortable with. We come up to the sides and press it overhead, coming down nice and slow, back towards the shoulders. Press and slowly lower, everyone. Now, as you do this, rib cage is down. If you look at where I'm at, my back is not arching. It's completely straight. That's what we want. If they're swinging you around, you're really not getting much out of those weights. You want to own them, control them. You bought them. So show them who's boss. You've got this. Five. Now I feel it. I needed a little extra. <laughs> Four. Three more. Come on. Even if we're past the timer. Three. And two. And we've got one last one. And let's bring it down. Okay. So the next one, I'm actually going to switch over for this one because this is where it gets pretty tough, especially as you're talking. So we're going to have our arms out to the side, those palms face out. This time it's pulse, 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 and press. And three, two, one, down. So one, two, three, press. And three, two, one, down. One, two, three, press. Three, two, one, down. Where are you coming down to? Making sure your elbows aren't sinking. If you need to, take a look in the mirror. Something that actually really helped for me with my form was just recording myself. Believe it or not, it has improved quite a bit, okay? Because you wanna see what you're doing here. If your elbows are coming down here, that's not what we want, we want that tension. Three, two, one, press, and three, two, one, down. Last three, two, one, press, and three, two, one, down. Now hold, 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 and lower it down. All right, we are going into our back and chest circuit, just like that, onto circuit number three. We are gonna keep on going strong, so I just want you to grab one of your heavier weights for me to start. Put that ball off to the side. We're gonna come down to our back and bring that weight right between. Feet are about hip width distance. We press up and slowly lower. Come up for me, and we're counting down for five, four, three, two, one, bring it up. Again, down for five, four, three, two, one. Press up, elbows in towards that waist. Five, four, three, two, one. Now rep it out for 10, nine, eight, seven. Think about your chest muscles doing the work. Four, three, two, one. And again, down for five, four, three, two, and one. This next exercise, so if you have never done this before, practice with body weight first. We're gonna take that weight between our hands horizontally. We're gonna bring it behind our head. Now find the mat behind you, squeeze the elbows in. We're gonna lift and lower through the elbows. The upper arm stays stationary. We lift for two, we lower for two. Have control over that weight. Right here, we're actually working into the triceps and the chest muscles. So you're squeezing the back of your arms, but lifting with the forearms. So that does not move your upper arm. Keep going. Lift for two and lower for two. Amazing job. Keep working hard for me. Keep being strong. Tuck your chin in towards the chest. Face straight ahead. Focus on those muscles. Get those changes. We want to be strong. Another three. Another two. Last one. Now I want you to take it down for five, four, control it. Three, two, one, and lift it up and lower it down. Going into our chest presses now, everyone. So let's grab that second weight. We're starting off with a wide chest press. We're gonna do that five countdown again. So I want those elbows off the mat. Now make sure your palms are facing away from you, not too much bend in the wrist. We come up and slowly lower for five, four, three, two. On one we pulse for five, four, three, 
two, on one, come up. Again, for five, four, elbows out wide. Three, two, one, we pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Down for five, four, three, two, one, last set of pulses. Five, four, three, two, one, now rep it out for five. For four, there you go, three, two, last one, and let's bring those weights back down. This time we're going into a press fly, so we're not actually coming all the way out towards the side. It's very much like a chest press, but our palms are facing in, so we come out at that angle. We come up and lower in three, in two, and one. Take it up for me, and down again for five. Yeah, we're doing it. Four, three, two, one, are you burning yet? Come up, come down for five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up, come down. Last time, five, four, three, two, one. And rep it out for five, for four, for three. You're doing an incredible job. Two, for one, we're going to go back to that countdown. Bring it up, come down for five, four, three, Two on one, stay at the bottom, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it down. Okay, going into our back section now. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our lighter weights. If you wanna use your heavier and you're comfortable with that, absolutely not a problem. Again, you can do this in standing. Palms are facing the thighs. Let's hinge forward at the hips. We come out towards the side, squeezing the shoulder and back muscles and back down. Control this movement. We're not rushing through it, but you're thinking about those back muscles pulling slightly towards you, but as far up as you can. Squeeze those elbows back, ladies. I know you're made of muscle. I know you're strong. And I know, all right, you can pick up some heavy weights. I've seen those pictures. You, you inspire me so much. Keep working. Five, four, three, you against you, two, one more. We hold to the top, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for five, four. Don't drop the weights. Three, two, one, and lower it down. How do we feel? How do we feel? We've got three more exercises with the circuit, and then we go into our finisher. We are going to go into a back row to a 45 degree fly. So for this one, palms face in. We hinge forward, squeeze the elbows in towards the waist. We come down, palms face you, out at a 45 degree. Slight bend in those elbows. Work the back muscles, really squeeze those abs. And if you feel like the weights are pulling you, once again, drop the weights, lighten the load. It's not a problem. When I started with the flies, everyone, I had someone ask me how heavy I go with them. When I started, it was two pounds. It took me months and months and months to get to five pounds. Now I can pick up the 15s for it. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot slower and it took a long time. You'd much rather take your time up in your weights than actually cause an injury because that'll set you back, right? Keep going. Three and two. Last one and lower it down. Okay, we've got two more exercises. So this one is where it gets tough. You don't need any weights. You know that's never a good sign, right? So we come onto into our tabletop position. The hands are slightly in front of your shoulders. We're gonna lift that left leg up, squeeze the glutes. We come down and we lift, single leg push up, coming down and lifting up. Back stays straight here, elbows come out towards the sides, slightly away from you, and lift. Now if you wanna make this harder, and I know some of you do, you're gonna come into a plank. If you're gonna do this version of it, the hands stay below the shoulders, we lift that leg, single leg push up. This is the advanced, the other one is a little more intermediate. It's still hard though. No matter which one you're doing, you're still moving, you're still working those muscles. Three, and two, last one. Lift it up, and lower it down. Okay, if I'm being totally honest, I'm kind of dreading that next side, right? But it doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna keep on working. So we come back into that position. If you wanna do the moderated version, that's okay. Modified, moderated. We're bringing that right leg up and into those push-ups. Elbows out towards the side. Come on, everyone. Last exercise of this circuit. Enjoy it. Squeeze those glutes. Relax your back foot 
that's on the floor and just think about those changes down and lift at this point in the exercise if you did want to make it harder we come into that plank we lift that right foot hands right below the shoulders we come down and we lift or just a standard push-up no problem but right here we're really working on balance squeeze those abs in super tight oh my gosh three Woo, this burns two last one and okay there's three more oh, come on to me i was about to cheat not gonna cheat <laughs> all right that is our last one of that circuit we are now going into our finisher this is six minutes in length for which we're actually gonna stay in that tabletop position i'm sorry it won't be that hard though i'm totally lying all right so we're gonna grab our lighter weight now this time we're gonna lift our back our right leg back up we come out towards the side down we row down palm turns in front raise bring it down and row one two three four five six seven eight core is super tight here squeeze that back muscle and work that shoulder as you come to the front oh my gosh this burns straight down at your mat squeeze it lower it towards the front and row now i gotta tell you something we've only got 10 seconds left I got my you know what today. <laughs> I'm definitely fatigued. I'm not as strong as I could be, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna stop trying. One more row, lower it down, and over to that other side. Yeah, yeah, I woke up and I was like, ooh, bad day for this, but the show must go on. So we've got our other side to do, and then we're gonna flip back over, but let's finish this out. Try not to use a weight that's twisting you. You wanna be picking that weight up, lifting this time the left leg, and we come into that row, lower, side raise lower row lower front raise lower one two three four five six take it slow control it lifting up only to shoulder level no higher if you want to put that leg down you can but i think you're made for this i think you can do it lift that leg if you had it up at the beginning i want that leg back up are you giving me everything you've got another three two one more row one more front raise finish that last three seconds and lower down okay that is it for those totally different right i really like that one i thought it had a really nice flow to it it gives you enough coordination that you're like thinking about it the whole time all right so we are actually going to grab a hold of that ball this time placing it between the feet we come onto our backs we're going to put a flex in both those feet weight in the hand we lift up and then we lower those legs to the ground. Now, if at any point you feel your back lifting off that mat, I just want you to do that toe reach and just take that extension out. But while you do so, squeeze that pillow or ball at 50% of your maximum. It's gonna wake those lower abs up even more and it's gonna work the legs. Down and we lift and we reach and we lower. Oh, five. Keep working for it. Four. Oh my God, my abs, three, <laughs> lower it down, two, give me one more, lift and lower and that ball can come out from between your legs. That really, really burns. All right, so for this one, we're gonna bring the legs into a tabletop position. We're gonna bring our hands straight up, palms are facing in, keep that weight in your hand. We're gonna lift, pass that weight under and then we extend, so we lift, pass raise and extend one two three four now of course the lower you bring your legs the harder this is going to be squeeze the abs in tight at no point does your back leave the mat squeeze them squeeze them squeeze them stick yourself to that mat come glued down onto it we have two more exercises to go and of course and you cannot leave me because i said this because i see a lot of you getting stronger at these and you know why repetition is key we're going into our plank series. Oh yeah, I don't even know if I can handle it today, but we are sure as hell gonna try. Three, two, last pass under, and we roll ourselves back up. Okay, so from here, we're gonna grab a hold of that ball. This is our last two exercises, everyone. We are going into side planks, and we're gonna pop it between your thighs. Now, if you want, you can do this on your side. Elbow right below the shoulder. We lift up in that side plank. Now, hand is facing out. We squeeze up, if you can, Come into that full side plank. Now squeeze at 50% of your maximum. 
Hold here, keep holding. For four, for three, for two, on one, we reach through all the way and we lift it, dip and raise. One, two, three, four. If you need to practice this without the weight, not a problem, but lift those hips up high, work for those last two minutes. You know you wanna finish the workout. We never regret finishing it, right? Keep working. Three, lift, dip, raise, last two, lift, dip, raise, last one, come on, finish it, up, dip, and you can lower yourself down, we're gonna go over to that other side, so it's 15 second hold, then we go into those sweep throughs, and we are done after that, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that ball, that pillow, whatever you've got, let's get into that side plank, in three, in two, in one, if you want, come up onto those toes, squeeze those thighs, really squeeze against it, you have 10, nine, Eight, lift higher, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We reach it back, we lift, we dip, we raise those hips as high as we can, squeezing the oblique muscles, working into those side abs. This is one of the best exercises you can possibly do for the obliques. Down, lift, reach back, come on. Few more to go, you've got three more reps in you. Three, really twist, lift, dip, Raise, and two, lift, dip, raise, last one, lift, dip, finish it, and come on down for me. Congratulate yourself, congratulate each other in the comics. I think you're all amazing. I hope you liked using the ball today, and I will see you for our next workout. Stay tuned to the end, I'm gonna tell you what series is coming up next. Amazing job, everyone. As always, I am so proud of you. Be sure to hit that like button if you made it all the way through, and leave me a comment below whether or not you'd like to see more of the Pilates ball in the future. We do have a new guide starting up next week. We're gonna kickstart that off with a hip versus weights routine. We'll be using our bands, we'll be using our dumbbells. You don't wanna miss it, it's gonna be sweaty, it's gonna be fun, so turn those notifications on. It's going to be the beginning of our brand new workout guide for March. You can find this free workout calendar in the link in the description below this video. You just open up that PDF, give it a moment's load, and you'll have a free schedule to follow with clickable links to each workout. Our newest ones will be posted here on the channel 1 p.m. EST on Wednesdays. They're going to be 20 minutes in length, but they are going to be intense. They're going to be so, so satisfying. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you for the start of our new journey.